Hey, it's Briggs Art, and this video promises to be a classic because it's about a classic set. It's the Blue Creativity Box. All right, I'm already tired of it. Anyway, it's train month, so I've been featuring different Lego train sets all month long, every day, as long as I can. But this is, I'm sorry for bringing out another small dinky set, and this is not really the type of train that I have in mind when I collect trains. I'm thinking more of the trains that run on actual track, or Duplo trains even. Uh, the little micro chains, they're interesting, um, but it's not really my cup of tea so to speak <laughs> but this is the blue creativity box so they have different colored themes in these boxes sometimes there's a train sometimes there's a facade of a house and there's sometimes there's an animal and the good thing about this one is the three main bills that you see on the front of the box you can build all three of them at the same time with the pieces from the box so that was pretty good but this train is really not all that interesting um, yeah, it, it doesn't run on the track, <laughs> doesn't have the wheels to go on uh, the narrow gauge track like that little train did. I think I would rather it had something like that, but they think they designed it where the wheels can be used for other alternate builds in there. So it's blue, it's a creativity box, it's all that, not all that interesting. Uh, but it's train month and I had to show this to you. So if you're going to rank like least favorite themes for me personally, classic probably my least favorite fr theme, but I appreciate classic. <laughs> I don't, uh, am I being contradictory there? Um, I don't particularly care for the theme. I usually don't buy the sets unless they're on super clearance, although I did pay $5 for this at a Dollar General which is probably way too much for what I got. But the reason I appreciate Classic is because this is kind of at the heart of what LEGO was at the beginning and what LEGO kind of really wants people to do. It's like design their own thing. So this is kind of inspiration to build other things. So that I do like and also like this ages 4 to 99. It really should be 4 to infinity. But anyway, that's all I got to say about this set. I hope you enjoyed it. There are going to be more LEGO reviews every day in 2019 unless i die and i'm sorry that i didn't do something special for pi day okay now i did something special for pi day <laughs> i made a circle <laughs> all right it's pi day <laughs> not friday pi day if anybody doesn't know what i mean by pi day uh pi not pie I think I commented on somebody's video, and I think I put PIE. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. All right, so this is a circle of track. The curved track is the most abundant track in just about all types of train sets, whether it be Lego trains, uh, HO scale trains, whatever, because usually starter sets come with, at minimum, an oval, I mean a circle, and sometimes an oval. And so you end up with a lot of curves when you really need straights. Now... I was going to do a video featuring all the different circles of track that you can make. I counted 19 different combinations, whether it be blue track, blue track with rails, 9 volt track, power functions track, narrow gauge track. Can you name all 19 that I came up with? or? Can you come up with even more than that? Let me know in the comments. And what it has to be is a complete track. It can't be like just one rail. Uh, it's got to be both rails. So I counted 19. And that's, that includes the different color combinations as well as the different types of track. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and one of them's really tricky. Uh, you may not get it.